MRCEM OSCE course. Preparatory for the Royal College of Emergency Medicine. UK OSCE exam. Website www.mrcemoscecourse.com. Facebook page MRCEM OSCE course. Hello, uh, my name is Dr. Hassan Abdurrahman, one of the MRCEM OSCE course uh, instructor. Uh, today I'm going to continue in the communication station uh, and I'm going to talk about difficulty of referral. We are dealing with this scenario in our daily basis in the emergency department. Uh, other specialties are hating to get calls from the emergency department. So in such a station, as we mentioned before, you have one minute outside to read your task. So here the information given there is vital. So you have to read the notes carefully before going inside because this information will help you in justification for your referral and all information are vitals. So for example, they might give you a case that elderly, she fell down and after which she became an, uh, immobile and she couldn't move her right side of the hip. She's having right, right side hip pain. So the patient came to the emergency department and there is suspicion or there is a fracture in the right hip and they will give you all other relative information regarding the case so here after you read the notes carefully you will come inside and you will find the examiner and one doctor sitting inside that's accepting doctor so here you have to greet the examiner and then you have to pick the phone and refer the case for this purpose you have to follow systemic approach for referral. We are using the mnemonic SPAR, situation, background, assessment, and recommendation. So before starting, you have to be calm in this station. Why? Because the other doctor will attack you aggressively and he will attack your emergency department aggressively as well. So you have to be calm and you have to follow the systemic approach in your referral. So you pick the phone, introduce yourself, and tell about the position, your position in the emergency department, confirm his identity, and that he's a doctor covering the specific specialty. Ask him politely that you want to refer a case for him, and if he or she have a minute to discuss a case. After that, start with the situation. What is the situation of the patient? Why you want to refer the case? What is the diagnosis? Or what is your query diagnosis for the patient? And then give the background. Background of the patient, this includes the age of the patient, gender, and past medical history. If the patient having any medical illness, diabetic, hypertensive, any other medical illness should be included in the background here, including the events itself which trigger the presentation of the patient to the emergency department, that the patient get fall or the patient sustain burn or whatever the cause. Assessment. In the assessment here, this include from the beginning, from the presentation of the patient, vitals of the patient, vitally stable or not, including systemic exam and local examination to the specific area, and what investigation was conducted for the patient, here also, this is including the radiology or imaging done for the patient. And what type of analgesics, any medication given to the patient. Recommendation, R for recommendation. Recommendation, why you are referring this specialty? What is the cause of that? So here, you are following the systemic approach in your presentation. As I mentioned before, in between, that doctor might attack you or he might disrupt you while you are talking. In such case, you have to calm down, be silent when he starts to talk while you are talking, just give him the opportunity to talk. Then you have to catch the chance to defend yourself back in a good time. And he might attack your emergency department and that he's very busy upstairs and he's get, keep getting calls from the emergency department, which is unnecessary as he thinking or as she thinking. In such case, you state that we are busy in the emergency department as well. I appreciate that, but we are still busy in the emergency department as well. Don't agree for unsafe plan. 
that doctor he might give you unsafe plan for example to, to discharge the patient or to the gift appointment as outpatient clinic or patient should be seen tomorrow in the clinic all these are unnecessary or unsafe plan so don't agree for that another important point he might ask you that to conduct unnecessary investigation or radiology for example do for the patient an x-ray or do for the patient CT scan or CT abdomen CT brain whatever then call me back so in such case this is also unnecessary investigation and it will not change the management plan so the patient by definition should be seen so this is unnecessary issues uh, here there is another point I want to address which is unlikely unlikely to be in the exam but you have to know the approach up to the end that doctor he might tell you that no I will not come to see the case in such case tell him that we have a concern regarding this patient and this patient examined by myself and this patient should be seen by your specialty he or she said to you that no I will not come to see the case tell again that we have a concern regarding this patient and I will give you time to think about the case then I will call you back still that doctor is telling you I will not come to see the case so in such case you will tell that seems that we are getting nowhere with you and as I mentioned before we have we have a concern regarding the case and we have a concern regarding the health of the patient and in such case I'm going to talk to my consultant to speak to your consultant okay one one last point he, uh, the, that doctor he might attack you he might say that I came yesterday I, I got a call from one of your junior doctor in the emergency department and I was very busy at that time and I came I saw the patient the patient was totally fine and patient is dischargeable so I discharged the patient so you are uh, emergency physician you're wasting my time and every time I'm coming to the emergency I'm seeing just unnecessary referral and I'm, I'm discharging the case here you have to state that you are the most senior one in the ED and you examine the patient by yourself so let's recap again from the beginning you read the notes carefully you got the idea about the event itself about the background of the patient about the assessment done in the emergency department and what is the recommendation for that you came inside you greet the examiner you pick the phone you sit in the chair you pick the phone you introduce yourself and your position in the emergency department you confirm the identity of that doctor and he's covering that specialty then you follow the systemic approach in the referral uh, situation background assessment and recommendation in between he might attack you okay he might disrupt you while you are talking no problem stay calm just let him talk and then find the opportunity to talk or to catch back and uh, don't agree for unsafe plan don't agree for unnecessary investigation to be conducted and like this you will uh, have a good issue of referral and a good good communication skill like this we cover all the aspects related, related to the difficulty of referral and thank you